What is going on, everyone? Leon checking in, and we're at it again with another episode. Now, today's content is an increased focus on media, which brings us to how to purchase and download music from Amazon. Now, although streaming services are very popular, and yes, I do use them, I am a big fan of Spotify, and Amazon also has its own streaming services. Still, I do prefer to purchase and download my own music because it gives me the most control over my library. Now, that being said, there are some streaming services that do allow you to download your music. But again, you're going to get the most control over your library if you purchased your music and downloaded it yourself. And that brings us to Amazon. And the good news is they do provide a very good solution to purchasing and downloading your music with some minor imperfections that, if you don't know about, may complicate the music purchasing process. Now, if you are watching on YouTube and are looking for more content related to this topic, you can find it on the Internet of Things playlist. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So to start this tutorial off, I've had the best success at purchasing and downloading music from Amazon by using an actual computer. Now, I am using an HP Omen 16. This is a gaming laptop. But I imagine you can use another device that's a laptop, such as a Mac or a Chromebook. And we're also going to be doing this in a browser. Now I'm using the Chrome browser, but I imagine you could use another browser like Edge and you shouldn't have any issues. So the idea is once your music is purchased and downloaded, then you can transfer it to another device, say a smartwatch or a smartphone. So that being said, that brings us to Amazon.com. And this is the homepage, probably looks very familiar. Most people will use this website to search for products, but we're going to search for our music. And by default, you may think that the best way to do this is just to go up to the search bar and type in what you want. But this is not always the case. This only works if you're dealing with very popular artists, very popular albums very popular songs. If you're looking for something that's a bit more underground, that doesn't have that popularity, if you do a search here with these default settings, you may not have your music come up. And this is one of those minor imperfections that could complicate your music purchasing process. But anyways, let's go ahead and give this a try with default settings. We're going to search for someone fairly popular. We're going to do Billie Eilish and I'm going to search for crown. Now, as you can see, we're going to scroll down here. We're going to have some options come up. We have clothing. We have an actual crown. We have a beanie, uh, but we have the song here too. And if we click on this, it's going to refresh the page. And of course, I always get this where Amazon will try to pressure you to sign up for Amazon Music Unlimited. We can exit out of this by clicking on the X. But here we are with her whole album that this song is featured in. So the album name, if you're interested, is When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? That's a very good question, by the way. But if we scroll down here, we are going to see you should see me in a crown. That's actually the whole title of the song, but you can get away with just putting in crown as I did. It would show up here. Then we would go to the far right, click on the three dots. We would have an option to buy MP3 song. And if we click on it, we will get a pop-up that basically lets you review your MP3 purchase. And then you could click on buy MP3 song pay now, but we're not gonna do this yet because I wanna show the alternate method for finding music if your music didn't show with the default option. So we're going to exit out of here. I'm going to scroll up and we're going to click the back arrow. I want to click the back arrow for a moment too because I want to keep in mind what this page looks like with the very generic settings in the search bar. Again, we're not only having music show, we are having clothing that's inspired by Billie Eilish. We're having uh, a crown it looks like some uh some perfume uh different products overall hair products uh wigs that kind of thing so we're going to back out here go back to the home page but we're going to do something a little different we're going to go to the search bar here you're going to see we have an option on the left of the search bar and these are our categories so we can actually scroll down we want to look for digital music 
And this should help redefine our search so that we get a better return. So now that we have digital music selected, we're going to try Billie Eilish again. We're not going to change the search. I'm going to put crown again, and we're going to hit enter. Now you can see that our results are going to be a little bit better. They're going to show, they're going to show a little different. Now we are still going to get uh, some random other things here. Like we have the Billie Eilish LA live fashion doll or the Billie Eilish live Cupertino California fashion doll white. But for the most part, we're going to have music come up. So this is good. I mean, you're still going to have some other things show. Like again, we have the Billie Eilish costume and we're going to have the other things that we did see on the other page, but they're going to appear lower. We're going to get what we actually want at the top here. You can see that you should see me in a crown is the first option. That's why we want to select digital music or the search bar and then do our search. Well, we're going to go through with the purchasing process. I'm going to click on the song and we're going to scroll down. Once again, this will all be the same as the first search method that we did do with generic settings, default settings, if you will. I'm going to click on the three dots here. We're going to click on buy MP3 song and then we're going to buy MP3 song pay now. This takes a moment. And then you get a thank you for shopping with us and you can then play the song or you can download it. Now I'm going to demonstrate downloading and this actually works very well here. You can actually download the music conveniently right away so you don't have to search for it. So we're going to click download. And we are going to make sure that we save it to the desktop, which we are. And then we're going to click save. And there we go, it is saved to the desktop and you've successfully purchased and downloaded a song. And just repeat as you feel necessary. Now, once you purchased and downloaded your music, you can exit out of this by clicking on the X of this notification and then you'll click on it again. Now, once you've closed out of these options, you'll see that we return back to the album page that this song is featured in for this artist. But most importantly, if you look at the search bar, you'll see that unfortunately it's changed. So we are going back to default options here. We're going to have all selected. And this is another minor imperfection. So if you're going to look for another new song, you have to click on this option once again and scroll down until you get to digital music, click that again, and then perform your new search. Another little con there. But that is it for today's content. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.